Hello! My name is Abe, welcome back to Enter the Gungeon as the... That does not say a character or a mode that I don't want to play as, which means I'm not going to override it. If it's like... If it's the robot, if it's the bullet... Hell, last run we played as the freaking Marine and I didn't veto that one. I'm saving my veto re-rolls for when I actually roll like BCDD20T or the Gunslinger or something. Or when I play as the Cultist and I'm like, ah, I just don't know how to actually enable the Cultist. I forgot the, the command code for it in uh, in the mod, the Gungeon console. It's like, car, car co-op underscore cultist, I think, and that might actually be legitimately exactly letter for letter, word for word, what the command code is, but you know what, at the same time, I don't have to deal with that nonsense. That's future Abe's problem. For me, well, okay, I mean, we could immediately fight the boss. Uh, for me, I just want to play a little bit of uh, a little bit of Gungeon as my boy, the robot, and I will always be accepting of robot plays, especially when I can again save onto those uh, vetoes for the future. I know that in particular, not everyone's a big fan of the BCDD 20T runs. They're, they're an, I've said this before. They're an occasional thing for me. I, I like the mode. It's fun. It's difficult. It's got its own little je ne sais quoi about it. But the standard run is for me. Well, the standard run, but with turbo mode enabled at all times, because that's apparently the only thing I play these days. Well, it's the only thing I play for, you know, everyday recording times. I play other things for myself, and other things for streaming and recording and whatnot, and let's look at, which I need to do more of. I, need, I keep keep saying I need to do more of those, but I got a, I got a few going up on occasion over the past few days, and there's more coming, so that's that's a good thing. All right, easy, oobly at access, you love to see it. Last run, by the way, if you haven't seen it, you should watch it, it's a freaking fantastic run. Not one of the most powerful runs we've ever, ever had, but it was a fun run nonetheless, and it started out amazing too, which is part of the reason why I enjoyed it. It was not a run where everything came together at the last minute, it was a run where from the beginning it's like, oh, oh, this is a good run, I like this run. <sighs> All right, it's the owl. The sigh there was just because I knew that I would probably not be able to access the uh, oubliette unless we got very lucky on the uh, the key drop after the boss, but the owl, while a good item, is not really worth losing out on the uh, extra floor, I think, unless we have an amulet. If we can get an amulet, then this is like amazing, OP, wonderful. blank that. It's still good, but the owl is just very slow to blank sometimes. You gonna blank, owl? You gonna blank? I don't even know when this owl's gonna blank. You gonna blank this? Owl, owl. <laughs> That's why you need an amulet to work with the owl, because it does synergize, and so if you have a, a gold amulet, the owl will just murder everything in the room. If you have a frost amulet, it'll freeze things. Poison fire, all that wonderful stuff, but just the owl is a little, it's a little low tier. Hey, minecutter's pretty good, and also, hey, Bill Thompson, welcome to the stream, how you doing today? What are the haps? I'm just happening, ooh, bleed access, let's go, now it's worth it. I'm just happening and having a good time playing some Enter the Gungeon warm up runs for the day, warming up the old voice all right, did not expect that. I actually went into that situation hoping for the junk, but I'll take it. Just having a good time, having a good time myself. Disposable also asks, are you going to play more Rogue Legacy 2 when? I believe is what they were referring to from the RL as of a couple of minutes ago anyways. I have played some Rogue Legacy lately, and I think we have uh, finished our our normal game. We've unlocked New Game Plus. Am I gonna play more Rogue Legacy? Honestly, probably not, because I've experienced most of the content already. There are a few like new 
bosses to play in Rogue Legacy if you do like a new game, a proper new game plus. I think some of the bosses you have to do like new game plus five to actually see everything, which is kind of annoying, but um, I just don't really see the need for uh, for a lot of new game plus stuff, and I don't I don't see the need to new game plus the uh, the rogue legacy. I got my enjoyment out of the game. It was a nice experience. I had fun with it. Just like the movement controls, but otherwise solid rogue ish. Rogue light like game with some some good design, some mixed design. And now I'm free. I'm free. I'm free to play whatever the heck I want. Start playing some Fortnite. <laughs> Start playing some uh, Minecraft. Turn this into a Minecraft channel. Put my face on all the thumbnails and uh, increasingly confused expressions. Always asking some sort of a question. Or like hypothetical question. Or implicit implied question. Is this the most, most powerful run I've ever had? Can this get any better? Do you believe it? Oh, I hate that nonsense. Yo, knock it off. Man, I love the mine cutter. This is one of those weapons, I know I've said this in the past, this is one of those weapons that originally when I played Enter the Gungeon, I was like, mine cutter sucks. It only has 250 ammo, which was a bit of more of a problem back in um, original Gungeon, where you didn't have any ammo at all, but now it's a lot better. Hey, Mother of Zerg! Welcome. Thank you for your support, your continued support, and for the sub, and for your being here, you good, good dude! And I hope you're having a good day. Another month of good streams. Well, I certainly hope so, from my own perspective. I was just talking about you too, saying I had a lot of fun playing Back from Blood like three days ago at this point, and I still want to play more. <laughs> Gotta find a time to do that, cause now I'm just like in my head. I'm like, oh man, I really want to like shoot some zombies. It's it's becoming you know hot months. Zombies are on the prowl. They must go. All zombies must die. Yo, we have a very highly accurate sawed-off shotgun. That's pretty good. We can roll this for a couple of floors. It's a fine, fi it's a fine, fine weapon indeed. Well, it's good enough anyways. Dun, dun, dun. Disposable account said, that is sad. I really enjoyed watching Rogue Legacy 2 and you never even played the Ronin properly. I never even played him at all. I never played that character at all. I played the assassin character like twice. I never even touched the ranger and I, played with their weapon once because I accidentally picked it up thinking that it was going to be something else on like the barbarian class or something. There's a lot of a lot of content in that game that I didn't get to see, but I think I got my I think I got my enjoyment out of it. 20 bucks well spent or however much it actually was on the on the Steam store. I forgot at this point. <laughs> And then some, uh, I think, who was it? I think it was Mud the other day. They were also uh, joking. They said that um, there's another game that I quote unquote really enjoyed that had a sequel come out recently. Uh, Salt and Sanctuary has a sequel, Salt and Sacrifice, I think. I played Salt and Sanctuary once on stream. I played it for like a couple of hours and I hated it. I thought it was pretty dull, unimaginative, had really bad platforming and really janky combat that I didn't enjoy, and it's got a sequel coming out. And I, I joked and I said that I would, I would, let's look at Salt and Sacrifice, the, the sequel game, if I could get a code for it. So I've gotta, I gotta ask them if I can get a code for it and not tell them that I'll probably like, not enjoy it. <laughs> Although I don't know, I don't know what's uh, what changed about the the sequel compared to the first game. But at least I remember Salt and Sanctuary. It was just such a a 
obvious, uninspired game. It, it was Dark Souls and like bad 2D platforming and janky combat and it just had like, it, it was one of those games where it felt like it didn't do anything original. It was like, we all like Dark Souls, let's make it 2D. But instead of souls, it'll be salt. But it'll have the exact same narrative structure as something like uh, Dark Souls. I think games do that way too often. Hell, Rogue Legacy 2 did it, and I kind of didn't enjoy that aspect of the, um, of the, oh, I don't have any keys for this. I'm dumb. I thought it was unlocked. Should not have spent a key there. Um, even Rogue Legacy 2 did this, they kind of just dump you into the game and you have to kind of figure out what's going on through logs and through, you know, r random, contextual clues that you find throughout the world. It's like, you know, there's nothing wrong with a game just saying, here's the plot. Look, here's what's going on. I mean, hell, even in freaking Dark Souls, they tell you what's going on at the beginning of the game. In the lands of Mordor, you must quench the fire of the world. Off near the all-knowing, you know, the loathsome dung eater. Like they tell you what's going on, to an extent. They don't leave it all completely empty. But I feel like that happens way too much in video games these days because everyone says, ah, everyone liked the Dark Souls way of, of giving you plot and story building and world building. It's like the lazy way of doing it these days. Like it was, if it's done well, it's great, but if it's done kind of shoddily, then it is kind of just like a lazy way of doing it and it doesn't really feel very good. I'm not saying Rogue Legacy 2 does this, I'm saying not every game needs to do this, you know? It's okay to have a plot. <laughs> Freaking Kirby has a plot that, that we, we understand. King DDD steals Kirby's food and he's like, no, I'm I'm done with this. I'm gonna get my food back, you piece of garbage. Don't steal from Kirby, don't steal from me. And then like the actual true story gets developed over time and you start to learn about what's actually happening in the world, but you actually have, you have a reason and a goal and a focus to at least start your, your adventure, you know? What is it? I think it's like one of the Kirby games. Um, King DDD, who's like the 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 you know standard bad guy. He's Bowser. He's takes like specific relics from the world, and and everyone's like, oh, this guy's a bad guy. He's taking all of our relics. We gotta get those relics back. But in actuality, King DDD was trying to like house an unspeakable evil that was tormenting the world and he just didn't tell anyone because he just didn't want any, anyone else to worry about it. And it's like, sure, at the beginning of the game, you're just trying to get everyone's relics back, but as you as you progress, you realize, oh, wait a minute, he's a good guy. Just, he's, he's a good guy. He's just doing things uh, in a manner that you probably wouldn't do yourself. He's doing things his own way. Oh, well, we got the blasphemy, which will never ever throw a sword for us. It's kind of hard to find good games to play lately, says Twig Breaker. Rogue Legacy 2 and Backpack Hero have been my go to's lately. I still have not tried Backpack Hero. Uh, I've got a couple of codes for games to uh, look at at some point soon. Um, but that was one that I, I've heard that people have been enjoying, and. Uh, I'll try to take a look at um, at it if I can. I said it before, I'll say it again. Pretty soon I'm gonna have a lot more free time to do recordings and whatnot, so I should be able to get to stuff like that a little bit more easily and more quickly. Ligmazed, welcome. Hello there, hello, hello. An ancient danger cotton. Um, um, explain the plot lore and stop giving a thousand hours of tutorials over simple things. That's my vote. I, I'm always, 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 always surprised at games that are like, press A to jump. 
Use arrow keys or WASD to move. Press spacebar to jump. Like, at some point, you just have to believe that people will be able to understand the game mechanics on their own, you know? At some point, you just have to either <laughs> either accept that people aren't idiots or stop giving out those types of tutorials. There's, there's reasons to have tutorials, there's reasons to not care about the tutorials. And then, and then there's a, another kind of level on top of that, which is tutorials for like, this is the button to do this, this is the button to do this, this is how the mechanic works. Those are, those are fine, you know, you're gonna need to know the basics, especially when you start a game. Like in, um, you know, in Hollow Knight at the beginning, it's like, you have soul, strike enemies to get your soul, press this button to heal. Like, th there's some some very simple, important things that need to be get gotten, getting, gotten across there. Getting across? <laughs> there's a few important pieces of information that need to be get uh, gotten across. Um, but then, at the, after that point in the game, uh, they tutorialize things by giving you the ability after you would have needed the ability. So, like when you get your air dash, it's like, hey, there's some platforms I can now access. And it kind of clicks in your mind that you can use this to air dash. You know, you can use this to get um, from point A to point B to explore further areas you couldn't access before because they were literally blocked off. And now that you've gotten this ability, the world has opened up to you, you know? You don't need to tutorialize, you can now go here and explore new areas. Like, that's kind of, the world that you've constructed is is tutorializing the player without them even knowing it. What's interesting is that in a game like a Rogue Legacy, there's a specific reason for them to do the tutorials in that game the way that they did it. So basically, you have heirlooms, which are your upgrades, and after you get one, you go into a tutorial zone, and you're like, okay, we're gonna spend the next like five minutes tutorializing these controls to you. There's kind of a reason why they do that, and the reason is you can't really build a, a, lev a world where the player gets an ability and then they realize, oh, there's all these new places I could go and explore because the, the world, the castle that you explore in Rogue Legacy is completely randomized, it's randomly generated. You know, you can't build a, a handcrafted, special, specific world where the player realizes, oh, hey, wait a minute, now that I've got this ability, I can explore this platform earlier that I couldn't access, you know? So they kind of have to give you that little tutorial zone to make sure that you understand the ability that you just picked up. I understand it. I do. Anyways, why are we talking about this? <laughs> Drigbreaker says that was a fast ban on that chat bot. Fred, Mud, and I are all here, but A beat us to the ban on all of them. Yeah, I mean, look. Sure, I would like to buy follows at buyfollows.com, but also, you would really think that, you know, at this point, Twitch would be able to deal with spam bots. <laughs> at this point, I think they, they just don't care. Does risk, does ROR2 have a tutorial, says Agrochrisia? Risk of Rain 2? Does it have a tutorial? I guess, I guess it doesn't, really. It always lists objectives like, uh, you know, go to the, find the teleporter. And then when you find the teleporter, it's activate the teleporter. When you activate the teleporter, it's stay inside the teleporter zone. So it tells you what you need to do. I don't think Risk of Rain really t tutorializes too much though. I feel like games like that don't have too much tutor tutorializations if they're specifically meant to be replayed. Like for um, Isaac, you know, Isaac doesn't have a tutorial. The tutorial is on the room that you spawn in, it says WASD 
Q, E, control. It's like, you can use bombs, you can shoot, you can move. Th that's the tutorial. And the tutorial, I guess the tutorial in a game like that, in a game like Risk of Rain, is just your first life. <laughs> your tutorial is, I gotta get to mom, you know? I gotta, I gotta make my way to the first boss. And then after that, your tutorial is, okay, I gotta fight Satan. After that, your tutorial is, okay, I gotta go to the chests. And after that, your tutorial is, okay, I gotta defeat Hush. Do boss rush, go to the void, fight Mega Satan. And then after that, the true game starts and you're like, oh crap, I'm playing as Lost now. I gotta do all this again. I can't get hit once? What? This BS game? It's impossible. Dun, dun. And Link Mazed says, every game should have a tutorial like The Binding of Isaac, just throw the baby into deep water. I mean, that's, that's exactly what it is. And for a, a replayable game like that, the, the tutorial is your first life. The tutorial is you trying to figure out what the hell is actually happening in the game. It works. It throws you into the deep end and just expects you to be able to swim. But it's a, it's a fun game and a fun way of doing it. Anyways, why are we talking about this? <laughs> why am I talking about any, any of the things I talk about? I just... I r pick a prompt from chat and then I just start talking about it for five minutes and then switch prompts. Nambi, welcome. How dare you attempt to make my Friday happy? I, I like perfectly average Fridays. Quirk says, happy Friday, everyone. Hello, Quirk. I take it you might be done with your, your busy day meetings like you always have. Meetings, meetings, meetings. Business, business, business. Business. <laughs> business. <laughs> um, let's, uh, let's fight the boss. We got the Rattler, we got the Mind Cutter. Let's do it. I'm not muted, I'm just quiet. <laughs> I actually think, uh, you know what? Vertebrae is probably our go-to here. It's a little slower than um, other weapons, but the homings, homing shots will deal with the uh, bulletkins that spawn, and the shots don't go through walls, but that's okay. The walls will eventually be broken after a while anyways. Homing shots help out quite nicely. We'll run, we'll burn through all the ammo in this gun, but like, Treadnought's a very easy fight anyways. You rarely have to worry too much. So that was another um, mine that he shot out. Bullet mine, which is blank right there. Oh, hello. Losing the walls does make the fight a little bit harder, but not by too much. Dun 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 oh, yeah. I think we're good to go. I don't think there's much else to do on the floor. We've not found the secret rooms though. Hold on. Oh no. I just realized. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't get, oh, because we just picked up the item, of course. Yeah, chance bullets with fossilized gun. We're gonna create oil on the ground, like everywhere, and then that oil's gonna light on fire, and then we're all gonna die. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. This, this sounds like a great idea. <laughs> this sounds like it can't end poorly at all. Also, we have so many glass guan stones. I would love it if there were more available, but there's not. I'll buy the key. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot afford double vision, uh, but that's fine. I guess we're done. Let's get the heck out of here. Ah, just taking a drink of, of cool water. As mentioned, it is, uh, it's very hot today. It's freaking over 80 degrees. It's gonna be 85 Fahrenheit. 
for like the rest of the weekend. And I'm stuck inside in a hot room doing these, uh, these runs of various video games. Oh, oh, it's so hot in here. Oh, my. Please, could someone to turn on the AC? Could we leak over some air conditioned air right now? Yes. But, it, like, it is hot. <laughs> now, I don't turn on the AC uh, probably for a little while here. It'll get hotter. I turn on the AC when it starts to get to, like, hot, humid levels of, of annoying temperatures. Because the humidity is what really, uh, what I really hate. Dun, 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 dun. And Jornker, hey, welcome to the stream. How's it going? I'm sick and I lost my voice due to this virus finally strangling me and congesting me. You're going to start hearing me also, uh, not today, but at some point in the future, start to uh, sound congested as if someone is trying to strangle me, but that's going to be because of allergies, not because I'm sick, but I hope you're feeling better at some point soon, bud. Buddy. Well, can't go that way. Get well soon, says Ligmazed. We should all get together and get Jornker, like, a card. Just be like, get well soon! Get well soon. No, you can't add any more quotes, but still get well soon. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was testing something. The ice bomb does not light the oil on fire. You know what? It's worth testing. No, please don't lamau. We should um, we should all say get well soon, and then I'll create a a video get well soon card. And we'll all sing, like, a Get Well Soon happy song for Jornker. And I'll put it up on YouTube. And it'll be the Jornker's Get Well Soon card. The Jornker's. <laughs> get well soon, Jornker! Get well soon, Jornker! Get well soon! Get well soon! Get well soon! Get well soon. Or don't. <laughs> Sounds good, Abe, but why don't you get started on the card? Oh, yeah, I just did it. Now I need uh, everyone else to uh, sing their own special version of the Jornker Get Well Soon song. And then we can all wish him a happy Get Well Soon. Abe, you can't even make point redemptions. You wouldn't get a video of a Get Well Soon card. I mean, that'll t that would take a lot less effort. <laughs> because... I have to figure out how to do point redemptions. Get well soon is just video editing. Which I can probably figure out how to do. Or scam someone else into doing, let's be honest. Oh, you know what? The oil, I'm, dude, I'm so dumb. I have the sponge, yeah. So the oil on the ground because of chance bullets, it, it doesn't matter, it's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna light me on fire. It can't. So if we ever actually actually do create um, fire on the ground, it's only beneficial. I mean, if we fight Wallmonger, we're definitely going to create fire everywhere at all times, and it's going to be great. Just I gotta I gotta remember, Abe Brain, you cannot be lit on fire from the ground. So do not worry about that on the on the. It's gonna call it the heart fight. Don't worry about that on the wallmonger fight if it happens. If they run out of get well soon cards, just buy happy Christmas cards and write get well soon on the back says Ligmazed. Has anyone bought a card recently? Dude, every time this room is a mimic and I love it. Is it just me or are cards like a scam? Like, they're expensive, they don't really... 
Like, they're, they're lazy. I don't feel like get well soon cards, Christmas cards, birthday cards are really... I mean, I haven't sent or received a card in like a decade. <laughs> Hallmarks don't exist anymore. Why do I have this key on me? Was there anything that I needed the key for? No. We should steal though. There's a lot of good stuff to steal from. Let's open the chest too. I got a card considering it was my birthday five days ago. It says Nambi. Well, happy birthday and um, get well soon. Gift cards are used in scams, says Jornker. I mean, it's just like... Cards are... They're pretty expensive. They're getting expensive. But also, like... I haven't... Maybe it's just me. I just haven't gotten or received or sent a card in... I can't remember. I can't remember how long. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go for the, let's go for the box. Extra ammo is nice, but I haven't used it once because I'm always mobile most most often. So I think we're just gonna go down here and see what we get. Um, I will buy the key normally. I will steal. Uh, actually, we don't need monster blood. We were already immune to poison. So we might just want to steal the loot bag, I guess, but we can steal an item from the next floor, so it doesn't matter. I guess I'm just gonna open up the chest, get nine millimeter bullets, and then fight Wallmonger, which is actually not gonna be Wallmonger, I don't think. Mud with the announcement, happy birthday, Nambi. How'd you do that? <laughs> I've never seen that before, Mud. What the heck? Twitch is always adding new things to their chat that I just don't understand. Which is understandable. Probably due to your lack of friends, says Jornker. Damn. Milt Thompson says it's kind of a running joke with Mrs. Thompson where she gets a card with a dachshund on it every birthday. Chrissy says I'm doing a card right now for grandma. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be the fire, probably. As soon as we get one shot of uh, fossilized gun, which we're actually not getting. So maybe there won't be fire everywhere. Oh, there it is. Little laggy, that's okay. I'm actually gonna switch to this, just a little bit easier to find. Okay, I'm out of ammo for that too, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just completely out of ammo for all my guns, apparently. I was not paying attention to any of my ammo consumption, but uh, eh, now it doesn't matter because we got the heroin. We got infinite ammo. Um, I don't really want to sell any of that. I will sell the sod off, it's a little late for it. We don't need to sell Fossilized Gun, it's good enough. Uh, we can probably sell Betrayer Shield and we can probably sell Charmed Bow. We can probably sell Wind Up Gun, we can probably sell Blasphemy. I know that I'm running low on ammo and I'm getting rid of guns, but like, with the heroin, ammo consumption's like not a problem at all. We can probably buy ammo. We could probably buy like the Beehive. You can see me, can't you? I mean, I'll still, I'll still buy the beehive. Is this a synergy? Oh, with the box. Okay, you know what? Sure, why not? Give me the box. Give me the box, man. Give me the box. Let's get the heck out of here. Actually, well, hold on. Was there, um, were there any uh, glass guan stones? Nope. All right. Good, good, good. ZP Welcome says, today I got to feel like what it's like to have the seven leaf clover in real life. Maybe it was your birthday, you opened up all those uh, presents, you picked up a whole bunch of black tier items. <laughs> what What's a good black tier Christmas present? I mean, certainly like a new wallet with a hundred bucks in it's pretty good, but uh, 
I mean, uh, a new gaming console would be great. I don't know if anyone loves you this much to be like, hey, here's a 3080 or something. Turkus is a card. <laughs> yeah, to you, maybe. Coal. And this economy? In Gungeon, says ZP. Dude, I had, um, it was my, my yesterday's run I had, uh, Seven Leaf Clover. It was a pretty good run. The best part about yesterday's, yesterday's run for me was the high caliber synergy that we had, which was great. Because I just, I just love that synergy in particular. <laughs> a house. It's your birthday. It's time for you to receive your present. It's a brand new car. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. That doesn't kill you in one shot. I guess I do have zero junk. Yeah, I haven't picked up a single junk on this run. It's just been a one of those runs, I guess. You just have a run like this where you actually do manage to somehow pick up enough keys to open everything. Kartonku, welcome. Abe, please help me. Is there a problem? Tapate Sliburek? Tapate Sliburek, I think is what, is that, that's the right, uh, like, line between parts of the name, I think? See, I remember who you are. <laughs> I remember. What's this, Abe? Remember something? I got a key and clone, so everything died to ZP. I did not get a clone on my run, unfortunately. I prognosticated not gr getting a clone, and it happened. I started playing Factorio on your recommendation. It's been a week, and I have 100 hours in the game. Factorio is another one of those games where I really want to do like a, a multiplayer subscriber stream of it at some point. It's just such a fun game. Fredacula says Factorio is crack. It absolutely is. I gotta be honest, I'm also kind of in the mood to play like a Terraria at some point. It's been a while, it's a fun game. I could be convinced. I could be convinced to play um, Terraria. Especially if they actually do end up, you know, releasing that mod that everyone loves and, and wants me to play so much, Calamity, which apparently still hasn't been released to the, like, 1.4 Terraria version, even though it's been, like, a year. Not like they have to do it. You know, they're not getting paid for it, but, um... That would probably be a nice incentive to play the game again, with, with a lot of new stuff. The last two Terraria update came out. Comes out in a few weeks, I think, says Jorniker. There's another one? What? You know what? This is like important enough. Terraria upcoming update. That is not how you spell Terraria, but I'm sure Google will be able to figure it out. 1.4.4 upcoming features. Labor of love. Various balances and quality of life changes sometime in 2022. One or two new Secret World Seeds. Uh, a pet summoning item named the Resplendent Dessert. A minecart named the Fart Cart that plays a fart sound. Okay, so, you know, maybe not as many, like, new major changes as I thought it would be. <laughs> I could appreciate it, but I probably don't need a fart cart in my life. I think, I think I'm happy with my current uh, assortment of, of summons and, and rides. But hey, if you want your own fart card, <laughs> just wait for 1.4.4. <laughs> uh, yo, I'm, I might actually get some junk here. Ligme says I'll probably get a lot of shade for this, but I've never played Terraria. There's like, there's nothing wrong with that. You just haven't played the game. Haven't had, felt the need to, haven't picked it up, haven't bought it, haven't cared. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not gonna get shade here. But if you uh, if you like that style of game, it's a, a great game to play. Do you like mining, fighting bosses? 
exploring a, a game world, finding loot, crafting um, loot out of the loot that you get, like crafting big, bigger loot, better loot. Bosses in Terraria in particular, all the bosses are so good in that game. Ooh, we gotta go Shadow Bullets. You know, it's also tempting to go with Alien Engine, because I know Alien Engine would be able to murder the heart. But I think we just gotta go Shadow Bullets in this one. So I'm gonna leave, enter. While stealth, steal, buy the key, open up a chest, break a chest. Get my first junk. You know what, um, before we break any more chests, we do have to fight this mini boss. Why don't we just do this first? And go from there, and I'll use bees. Abe, you forgot about grinding for hours for rare drops. I, I never had to grind for hours for rare drops in Terraria, really. Any grinding I did in Terraria was like 10 minutes. It's like, sometimes I would have to, it, you know, it's always trying to find the mummies in hard mode. They drop something that you need for the, the super compass. It's like a, a handkerchief or a, a, a blindfold or something. That's always the one that I, I have to look up and then you just like go to the desert and after like three minutes you find it. Cause it's not actually that rare, you're just never in the desert. Yo, by the way, this B gun seems really good with chance bullets. We're firing so much extra projectiles. That's great. Oh, it, maybe it was like vitamins or something. No, I you would always get vitamins. I don't remember. I need friends to play that with play that with, which I don't have. Seems good, says Ligmazed. Playing um, Terraria with people is definitely, I think, the preferred experience. But it's a fun game. Grinding for the Nazar is a nightmare. That might have been the one that I always had a problem with. Where do you find the Nazar? I don't remember. I heard the farm for the Rod of Discord was pretty brutal. I never played on normal difficulty, so I had better drop rates, says Fredacula. Ligmay says, I was talking about Risk of Rain 2. Well, fine. <laughs> well, fine then. <laughs> What do we get? Mahogany gun? Oh god. That's good enough. Um, we're gonna spend our last key, I guess. We're gonna get Unity, which is actually pretty okay. There's nothing else for us really to spend our money on unless we really do want Alien Engine, which I don't think I really care about. Let's just go fight the boss and uh, probably just use the Beehive. The Beehive seems pretty good here. Beehive or the Rattler. Oh, and this also replenishes ammo. We should definitely use this. Jorker says, I can't wait for Abe to run out of ammo in the dragon. Except we're not going to. We actually get a lot of extra value out of chance bullets. Uh, we've got plenty of ammo in the weapons that, that we have. Like, dragon's dead, dude. The only real question is, can I screw it up? There's my, that's my penalty for standing in the in the bottom left corner, by the way. I mean, we have a full Rattler. I got nothing to do with the box, though, at this point. It's not gonna be, uh, we're not gonna be able to steal any items. 
Dude, why, why is the owl blanking so much now? You weren't blanking earlier, owl. We're gonna have to do one more phase. I'm just gonna burn the ammo in this so I don't have to use it. I'm not gonna worry about guns either. Anything will do. Slime staff flashback says car. I um isn't that like one of the first summon items you can get in Terraria? You fight like King Slime you fight like a normal slime and sometimes it drops like the slime staff. That's always like a good rare early drop, because you just get you get something that summons like for free. It's fantastic, man. Um I'm gonna actually buy ammo for the beehive. I know it replenishes ammo, but I just want it to I just don't want it to take a million years to get ammo back, so sure. Absurdly low drop from a normal slime. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah. <sighs> okay. Ligme says, if I were to buy a game right now, it would probably be Risk of Rain 2. Ah, that's what you're talking about. But I need friends to play that, which would I play that with, which I don't have. Ligmaze, like you are absolutely free to join us whenever we play Risk of Rain. We've got no problem with that. Me, Mud, Quark, Agro, Chrissia, Mother of Zerg, Raw Egg, all have played in the past and others. We're more than happy to take you under our wing, young Padawan. And Car, thank you for the gift sub. You did say I didn't. I didn't want to put the pressure on you, but you did say Abe, if you can flawless birthday boy will get a free sub. <laughs> so Mr. Nap now has a a sub. Although I thought birthday boy was uh, Nambi, but maybe Mr. Nap is also a birthday boy. I don't know. Dun 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 dun. dun. Datotoro guy, welcome. Yo, is there another Gungeon run after this one? I mean, there can be. There can be. Hate you guys. Okay, look. I'm starting to realize heroin is not the best weapon to have in this situation. I did just use two blanks. <laughs> there's like there's no there's no way in hell that we're losing. But uh, we haven't been hit yet on the run, and I'm bringing attention to it, fully aware that I'm probably jinxing myself. But we have actually not been hit the whole run, and I've got like ten Guan stones orbiting me that I want to keep. And I've got the owl, and the owl's pretty good at helping. Might make it a little bit harder on the uh, third phase of the Lich now that I don't have a blank remaining, but you never know. Maybe we can find some way of working around that phase of the fight. I am seeing occasional shadow bullet shots happen. Don't telefrag me, you jerks. An extra ammo. I think you gotta take it for the heroin. We're down to 33. That's good. Jornker says, maybe we are all the birthday boy deep down. That seems very inappropriate. <laughs> Although, I guess it would be uh, inappropriate if you said, maybe we're all deep down in a birthday boy, but that, that'd be that'd be even worse. This thing does fire a little slowly. Car says I'm from the March gang. Ligme says, hell yeah, go January. Mel Thompson says, January gang ho. <laughs> Some of you may know um, when my birthday is, but I'm actually a, a Taurus. So fall slash winter-esque.
I know nothing about the um, the astrology charts, though. I don't know what being a Taurus means. Does it mean does it mean I make a good YouTuber? I hope so. Does it mean can talk for hours on end regarding nothing? Did I say Taurus? Oh my god, I'm dumb. I meant Scorpion. Scorpius. Yeah, I'm I'm get over here. Sorry, I I I, I misspoke. <laughs> I don't know why I said Taurus. That's my apologies, sorry. I didn't mean that. I meant uh I meant Scorpion. Drunker says I am Cancer. D do you also have a plus two to your rate of fire? Such a Scorpion thing to say. <laughs> Get a load of the Scorpion streaming, ugh. Jesus. Pardon. Nambi says, I'm a banana noodle. Both great things. You like the increase to your speed of invinc and invincibility, that's why you're a Taurus, Abe, says GT Quark. I do like Taurus. You're not wrong, depending on how many speed upgrades I have, of course, but. I mean, it is better than Scorpio in Isaac, for sure. <laughs> Ligmay says, I'm an attack helicopter. I'm a Comanche. Uh oh. Can't really afford to miss that first shot. Oh no! Bum, 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 bum. So much glass broken on the ground. Don't step over there in the corner. Ah, jerk. What'd I say? Can't miss the first shot. And then I missed the first shot. You son of a gun. <laughs> Restart the run. Eh, we might as well finish off this run. It'll only be like another three minutes. Ah, eh, probably like four or five, because we got to do three phases. We're at 50 40. Yeah, this will probably be like 54. 55, because we're already at, yeah, 45 seconds. So it'll be like 55. Bump. Well, I, I should say, depending on how fast we actually find uh, where we need to go. We need um, something that does damage a little bit faster. You gotta love, you just walked into me. You gotta love the uh, power of the heroine, but it's it's certainly slow if you mess up, miss a shot, etc., etc. By the way, this is the correct direction, so I think 55 is actually an okay guesstimation here. Get the heck out of here. Get get my bees. We fire a lot of shots. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we should get a lot of um, bonus shots out of the chance bullets. And whenever we get a heroin, we're just happy. Oh, my bad. I forgot what that attack was going to be. Dun, 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 dun. I don't think we're gonna hit 54 though. I think it's, it's just gonna take too long to actually handle the next fights. By the way, nine. Like Maze asks, is the Vulcan Cannon considered a strong gun? I had to run it with it today and it felt great. I also had some kind of synergy with it. Vulcan Cannon in Enter the Gungeon is an insanely good gun. Like, Really, really good. What a dodge, by the way. 
What a what a piss poor but still somehow acceptable dodge. Yo, I had a blank? I would have used it earlier if I realized I had a blank remaining. I must have picked it up on one of those rooms and just not paid attention to it. Guess I got real lucky then. Wolken Can's really good. Yeah, it, ha it has its um, quirks, you know? If, if you're on a, a boss and you do a lot of damage, then you don't want to be holding down the trigger continuously, but... Vulcan Cannons, what I like about it is that it's a fun weapon. It's a good weapon and also a fun weapon because it just fires a lot of shots. You know we are going to hit 54. Barely, but it'll happen. Oh, and you know what? Because of the the presence of the owl, this phase is not going to be that bad. We've got some ability to break his bullets. Good run. Solid. We only took damage once we made it, once we made it down to bullet hell, but I'm still sad to see that we uh, sad to say and sad to see the damage. Bitrate destroyer phase. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's probably just one reason in and of itself to hold on to blanks to pop on that phase, just so that you guys can see what the hell's happening. But a good run. And for those of you on. YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel. Any of the links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.